Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Amano, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and member of PMDG's tech team. In today's video let's have a little look at what you can do if your aircraft does not want to start taxiing after you have completed your pushback. And there are a few possibilities of what might be happening as we have just seen on yesterday's live stream as well, which I'm going to link in the video description below. And I know it can be pretty disappointing if your aircraft doesn't want to start moving, but don't just yank the thrust levers all the way forward and see what's going to happen, because chances are there might be something going on that is actually preventing the plane from taxing, which you should not just overcome by raw power. So, the first thing you should always check is if you have used a pushback tool, for example GSX toolbar pushback, or if you have used PMDG's internal pushback, is your tuck actually disconnected? Depending on the tool that you are using, your pushback tool might prevent the aircraft from moving and while I cannot comment on any external tool, it might always be a good idea to reset the Quartal engine if you are using GSX or if you have used PMDG's own pushback. Go into the pushback menu, see if there's a tuck still attached. So if there's a tuck attached like this, you can see it from the outside here as well, then your aircraft is not going to taxi anywhere. So make sure the tuck is removed and at the same time also check that the chocks are removed. That is especially a thing if you didn't need a pushback but if you have a taxi out position or self maneuvering stand. So make sure the chocks are showing removed and there is no pushback tuck connected over here. If that doesn't work, the next very quick check is of course at the parking brake, is the parking brake still connected? So the uh, red indicator light of the parking brake here has been weakened a little bit by PMDG in the recent time, so it might very well be that you are missing its illumination, especially if the um, lights are set to dim, then it's even a little bit um, less bright. So. Be sure the parking brake is actually released and at the same point what I would always do is just push your brake pedals or whichever brake key you are using in your flight simulator just to be sure that there is no accidental brake pedal application done anywhere around your system. For example, a common mistake here is when you are setting or when you're pushing the uh, brake pedals in order to set your parking brake and then you start looking around with the uh, right mouse key, then let go of the pedals, let go of the key. Your simulator is going to remember the previous um, inputs, so your brakes might very well still be um, in the held position like they are right now. Right now I'm not on my uh, brake pedals on my hardware, but now I'm touching them and you can see the pedals are coming right back to normal. So that might be another reason why the aircraft doesn't want to start taxiing. Another check that you should do here, that is applicable especially after you've landed if you uh, might have broken your tires, but as we've seen on my live stream yesterday, it can actually happen as well when GSX is trying to do your uh, pushback, that it, for some reason it's putting so much energy into the system that you are um, going to break your tires. So to check that, go into the PMDG setup, aircraft failures active, and then over here we have a tire failure. Go and clear all, Execute it and then the problem should be solved. Do note, however, that if GSX caused that, then it might actually not have caused a tire failure, but the brakes to overheat. And if the brakes are overheating, then it might happen that the tires are actually not going to, or that you might be able to fix them, but that they are just going to fail straight away again. And that's exactly what happened on yesterday's live stream as well. And the way to fix this then, especially in an aircraft that does not have a brake temperature indicator, and keep in mind most aircraft don't, then go into FS Actions, Ground Maintenance, and over here you are going to find your um, cool brakes, replace brakes, and replace tires options. So if the tires just keep failing again and again and again, make sure to cool the brakes or just replace them all together before you are going to replace the tires, and that is probably going to fix it. Now some of you will be saying, so isn't it pretty shitty that we actually have to do all this maintenance and all this checking? Why can't PMDG just make them fail safe? And the honest answer to that is, the pushback system 
I just find it natural. If you don't remove the pushback tuck, you can't start taxiing. So far, so good. Now, the majority of the issues that we have talked about here are actually caused by third-party tools, notably GSX. And therefore, there is not really a lot that PMDG could do about them. So the only thing that can be done to fix those in first place from happening is that GSX fixes their pushback. However, now we are aware of those issues, so I hope that this video has helped you to fix your problems in case you do run into them and in case your aircraft does not want to start taxiing. So thank you very much for your attention, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet and leave me a comment on which issues you encountered that prevented you from starting to taxi. On my live stream, surely you are going to find some every now and then. So we're all here in flight simulation and in some cases I just have to say that there are so many issues caused by all kinds of different non-finished add-ons that in some cases it really isn't worth it getting angry about why some stuff isn't working but in these cases simply try to find your solutions and see if you can get around them. It's going to spare you quite a couple of headaches. So, thank you very much, and I'm hoping to see you all flying the 800 out right now. So, if you do want to support the channel, I'm always happy for a donation through the Buy Me A Coffee link that you can find in the video description below. Thank you very much for considering the donation, and I'm looking forward to see you all again soon.